That's right folks, Wilma and I out on another walk. Uh, enjoying the remains of the snow. I think it's going to turn to rain tomorrow. So um, it'll all get washed away pretty quick. But um, today we're enjoying a lovely sunny day off work. And we're heading for a walk up onto the hills of the Chilterns, onto the ridgeway. At the moment we're heading towards an Iron Age hill fort. And then we might work our way around back towards Old Allens and try and tie up some sort of little circular route, I think. Wilma has a major advantage over me because all four of her paws have forward facing spikes. So uh, traction for her really isn't a problem. We've made it up to a nice viewpoint uh, on our way to the hill fort. Now for those of you who know the area, middle of the screen now you can see the monument uh, for the Boer War which is up on top of Coombe Hill. Um, the little clump of trees in the middle there, that is the top of um, Beacon Hill. Uh, and just down sort of the other side of the trees at the centre of screen now is where Chequers is, the uh, country estate of the uh, weekend retreat for the Prime Minister. Um, and then down sort of in the distance there is the Vale of Aylesbury. So that's my home area. Uh, Cymbeline's Castle where some of you will have been before is sort of over by the other side of those trees. So if you take a line down from Beacon Hill, where we walked up, uh, that's there. And sort of down in this area here, this wooded bit down here, this is a really steep sided valley. Uh, that is, I believe, called the Hanging Valley. Uh, but I would need to check that. I tell a lie, centre of the screen now, Happy Valley. So there you go, Happy Valley. As you can see, there is still plenty of snow lying on the ground up here. Site of the hill fort. Let's go take a look. It is an absolutely beautiful place. These majestic great beaches. Look at these things. Phenomenal. A lot of these were brought down in a storm of uh, 88 uh, sorry not 88, 87 so it was uh, 30 years ago uh, this year um, there's a whole section over here that was brought down and it looks like there's a load that's come down fairly recently down there as well. You can see here the steep sided nature of these hills in the Chilterns. This, this ridgeway, you can see why it was a useful uh, passage point all those centuries ago, travelling point because it was, it was high ground. I mean, these trees obviously weren't here. It was open. So if I sort of hold the camera still for a bit, you'll probably be able to see just how far you can see out into the distance. And being able to see and being on the high dry ground is a major advantage. This is the site now of the fort. The fort is just just up here behind us. Uh, of course, the snow flattens everything, but uh, we'll sort of come up into it in a minute. 
and you'll get a good idea. I'm sort of in the middle of it now. Um, the inner ditch, the, or the inner embankment, is running around there, and the ditch runs to the outside of that and runs all the way around where I am now. Obviously, you've got the escarpment. On the escarpment, you've got the view out there. I mean, this would have been an animal enclosure. <laughs> uh, sorry, Wilma's just demonstrating just how deep the snow is still in this section. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit deep for you, Wilma's, isn't it? You're a good girl. What we'll do now, just head over to the ditch before we sort of make our way over. Come on, Wilms. Come on. Good girl, fight your way through. Good girl, oh, look at that. Good girl, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Come on, lead the way. Come on, lead the way. Good girl, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go snow loading on this beach that's fresh that's just come down and then snowfall afterwards that's just a tiny little limb on that tree perfectly healthy tree but uh, there you go. boom down it comes right come on Wilms this way How's that for a snowy backdrop, eh? What an amazing early winter we're having. Of course, it's worth mentioning at this point uh, that uh, for those who don't know, and I'm sure most people who watch the channel do know this, but uh, most people generally in the world don't know this, I suppose. Um, hill fort is an incorrect term. Uh, they weren't really forts. Um, it would have had um, a secure enclosure. It would have been a secure enclosure, but really more for keeping animals in livestock because they would have moved livestock across these hills and it would have been a meeting place, um, a stopover place, you know, for people traveling along the line um, and possibly ceremonial as well. I mean, we don't really know, but realistically, it was a safe place. So that's probably why we've called it a fort, but not really from the point of um, sort of war and things like that, like we might think of a fort these days. Slightly different um, meaning, I guess. Beautiful view though. I've never ever seen it this pretty. It looks stunning. <laughs> Freshly uh, snapped off limbs all over the place. I mean, this one, it's come off. I was just up there. It's hit the ground here and it's shattered because it's it's not been cut at all, it's just shattered all these pieces. And this was alive. You know, this is living, it's not, not old and dead. This would have leafed up next year beech trees are absolutely famous for that and uh, that's why you should never camp under a beech tree because even without snow on they can a seemingly perfectly healthy beech can just shed its leaves just like that uh, shed its leaves shed its limbs just like that so yeah Me talking to myself, I've gone the wrong way. Bit 
bit of a struggle for them and the snow is still really deep and uh, there's any other one other person has walked through it in both directions so there's not much of a trail for her but it's quite icy on top she's almost breaking through it or almost been able to walk on top of it but not quite wait there one's I'll lead the way stop 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 let's go place we're about to walk through now I've always known is special uh, but I've had that confirmed for me now I knew it was significant but uh, this really can uh, prove it for me I'll just get a picture of this So welcome into the largest native boxwood in the country. It extends all the way down this valley. So Wilma and I are just walking around the head of the valley really. We're just dropping down into it a little bit. And then we're going to walk around the head of it and try and get you a shot of the valley if I get a good Good view. Here's the underview of a box tree, Buxus sempervirens. So there's a view down the valley. So there's elder growing in here as well. Um, the box tends to be more concentrated on the sides. But obviously, there's a lot behind me and up above me. But the snow has had an impact here as well because. It's pushed over these and it's weighted down the box. And so there's a Wilma sized path through there. But I've got to get through there because some miles on the other side of there is Old Allen's and that's where our cup of tea is. So we've got to get through. Only me. I'm coming Wilms, I'm coming, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, we're So there's a nice shot, there's, uh, there's the path we came down. And then the valley extends all the way down there, all of that is boxwood. And then obviously the other side of the valley is the same and it extends up there all the way up just stunning so this is where i was just a couple of months ago with uh, pete mine wiseman uh Cy, otherwise known as real brand channel uh sandy wiltshire man of course and uh hoop bivy wild camper and uh down there is uh, Cymbeline's Castle where we had a brew and where Sandy's dog disappeared very briefly just for an explore and then uh, up the top there is the uh, the peak and it looks more like a mountain peak today but that's the uh, peak that um, Pete Mind Wiseman sort of managed to climb following his um, hip operation and uh, I've got a new I got a real I mean that was impressive that day because I didn't realize just how early in his recovery he was really but um, I've got a newfound uh, respect for that uh, what, he, what he achieved that day with that walk because um, my mum has just had 
a hip operation and so I'm getting to see firsthand uh, the effect that has I know she's a lot older than Pete much much older but um, the systems you have to go through are the same the processes are the same sorry probably got the sun in your eyes there so um, big respect to Pete for that because that is a steep old climb up to that from here See my little snow dog. There he is, just around the corner. Hey, Wilms. Good girl. Don't worry, I'm coming. And we've made it. Hooray! We're into the back of Old Allens. Whew, that was a long walk. Uh, time for a tea break. Welcome down to Old Allens in the snow. Um, much, much lower lying here, obviously. So um, far less snow. But uh, what a great walk that was. Um, yeah. But yeah, tea and a bit of food. We came in by the back door at Old Allen's. We're going to leave by the front door. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little stroll. Uh, Wilma and I have had a lovely day, so off she goes. Take care everybody, see you soon. <laughs>